Good morning. Have a seat. So, you are Miss Margie Forilio, right? Please introduce yourself. Good morning. I am Margie Forilio, 27 years old, graduated from Indoor State University with a bachelor's degree of hospitality management. I've worked hard in my education and now ready to apply my knowledge and experience into practice. I have six months of experience on the job training at Resta Veranda in Puerto Galera as server. After I got my college degree, I worked three years at Cali Arco restaurant in Laguna as server and eventually promoted as kitchen manager. After that, I worked as assistant manager for more than two years at Benharong Thai restaurant in Metro Manila. Now I am currently looking for a job related to my expertise. Realistically, you have a good educational background and a work experience. So can you give me an insight? Why are you interested in this position? I am interested in this job because I can see that in this role, my skills could help solve this problem within your restaurant. Also, I see an opportunity for me to learn and grow these skills so we both benefit personally, professionally, and financially. Also, I like the culture of this organization. From what I heard and what I've been reading about your company, it seems like a great fit for my personality and values. Can you give me an idea how to make a budget for supplies and equipment in one restaurant? In determining the total annual requirements for supplies and materials, consider the following. Number one, power stock. Number two, ending inventory. Three, breakages losses for one year. And four, lead time. Power stock. It refers to the minimum quantity of stocks that must be maintained in the service station to be able to maintain an efficient flow of service. For fine dining, where tables are preset, the initial maximum usage of preset items such as dinner plates, knives, forks, and glasses will be equivalent to 100. And to get the par stock, for example, in a fine dining restaurant with a maximum usage 100, make a minimum allowance of 25% for washing and another 25% for turnover. Let us say that the turnovers is frequent as much as 3 times, it is advisable to triple the maximum usage, be able to compute for par stock. Let us assume an average turnover of 1.5 and to compute the par stock requirements, it will be par stock equals maximum usage times average turnover. The additional 50% will be allocated allowance for washing and turnover. Par stock equals 100 maximum orders times 1.5 average turnovers equals 150 preset items, the dinner plate, glasses, knives, fork, and etc. Ending inventory. Also known as closing inventory is the value of goods that a company has available for sale at the end of a given accounting period. Calculating ending inventory is important for businesses in virtually every industry. Breakages losses for one year. Total number of items lost due to breakages losses, pilferages, etc. It is computed as a average losses breakages per month is equal to one year losses. Losses divided by 12 months for example, 48 divided by 12 is equal to 4. So, the average losses breakages per month is 4. Lead time. Allowance for consumption while awaiting the delivery of stocks. It is computed as average quantity of losses breakage for month 
time sleep time. For example, 60 divided by 12 times 2 is equal to 10. The lead time usage is 10. Thank you, Ms. Margie Forillo. So just wait for our call and have a good day.